Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Benjamin Dean and in this video we will learn how to use OER Embedded Workbench for ARM or eWorm with TouchGFX templates. I will start by launching TouchGFX Designer version 4.17 and TouchGFX Designer is a GUI builder that lets you easily build the visual appearance of your graphics application. Now from the lobby I go to examples and then select board setup. In today's video I'll be using STM32H7B3 discovery kit and we see here for the STM32H7B3 family we have two board setup. STM32H7B3I evaluation board with a display resolution of 800 by 480 and STM32H7B3I discovery kit with a display resolution of 480 by 272. I'll go with the discovery kit and click select. And here TouchGFX Designer gives a list of pre-made examples that show how to use different widgets. For example here an example for the animated image, the clock widget, and another example for with the gauge example with the gauge uh, widget, line and circle examples, and so on and so forth. In this video, I'll go with animated image example, give a name to my application STM32H7B3 Discovery Kit underscore EWAR, and then click Create. Now, TouchGFX Designer will download the template. From the internet. Okay, now I go to the files on the left hand side, and here I have all the TouchGFX files. I go up by one level and I find my STM32H7B3 I discover kit IUC file. This is the STM32 CubeMX file. I double click on it. Now I have my STM32 CubeMX project open. I go to Project Manager and then in the tool chain drop down menu I see the default IDE is STM32 Cube IDE. I click on it. I see that I can select IAR eWorm IDE. Then I click on Generate Code and then open project. I have my E1 project open before I build it. I go back to GFX Designer and I see here that the GFX Designer detected some changes and asking me if I want to reload the project. I click yes and then I still need to generate the code. This is required to have GFX designer generate the code taking into account that IAR eWorm will be used instead of STM32 cube ID. I go back now to my IAR project and now I, I can build it. I go to project and then rebuild all. I will plug my USB cable to my STM32H7B board and then click on download and debug. Now the download is complete. I can run my application. I click on go or F5. Here I have my animated image example working on the STM32H7B discovery board. I can start the animation and then I can stop it. And now I click on stop debugging and here it's very important to check that the IR project has the external flash loader. I go to options and then to debugger and download. I see here that by default it uses uh, the STM32H7B discovery kit flash loader. If I click on edit I see that it has 
three flash loaders. First flash loader is for the internal flash memory, first bank. Second one is the second flash loader for the second bank. And then we see here at the 0x9000, we see that this is the flash loader for the external OctoSpy memory. If the IR project doesn't have this flash loader, for example, if I delete it, I would need to use STM32CubeProgrammer to, to download the external uh, assets or images to, to the OctoSpy memory. Thank you for joining me in this video, and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to use IIRE1 with TouchGFX templates.